name's Dr. Adams, and I'm a dentist here at Natural Dentist Associates in Rockville, Maryland. And I'm doing a video about how to safely remove amalgam mercury fillings. And I just want to get you familiar with what we do. Um, the video really will do two things. First off, it can serve as an educational video to the general public who may not be aware of how amalgams are safely removed. And also, for individuals who are coming into our office to have amalgam fillings removed, it will demonstrate how we actually do this. It's really not that difficult, and I do believe that considering the fact that there's mercury in these fillings, that for the safety of the patient and we don't want our office contaminated uh, and to protect ourselves, it's really important that we have protection for the patient. Uh, we don't want the patient swallowing or breathing the mercury gas when the fillings are removed. I don't want my office contaminated and I certainly don't want to, you know, breathe or, you know, breathe in the mercury vapor that comes off the fillings. Amalgam fillings are roughly 50% mercury and then there's a combination of silver and copper and other metals in the filling and it's been proven that when people are chewing and eat, eating and agitating their fillings that mercury gas is released and it can be breathed and you know it, there's some exposure to the patient um, however when we take the, when we put the fillings in which I never do uh, and when the fillings come out that's when the, there's the maximum exposure so what we're talking about today is how to do this safely um, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is what we do leading up to the treatment. And um, this is a product made by Quicksilver Labs. Um, and all it is is vitamin C. It's a liquid form of vitamin C. And basically what it does is just enables somebody to boost their vitamin C, C levels up leading up to the procedure. And we'll give the patients the opportunity to uh, you kind of put a couple squirts underneath the tongue and you hold it there for 30 seconds and it's able to go through the thin skin and underneath the tongue sublingually and then um, um, they can, you know, you can get your vitamin C levels up before the procedure. Vitamin C really is helpful for healing and detoxing and then um, after the mercury fillings are removed uh, there's another product it's called glutathione and these are both natural substances it's, we don't do any type of chemical based detox um, the glutathione basically helps your cells um, get heavy metals and other toxins out of the cells and into your blood so you can pee out you know, mercury or any other heavy metals that um, you, know, you can get into, into your system. Uh, so we do these simple things. So this is charcoal. This is activated charcoal capsules. We always give the patient one charcoal tap capsule before we take out any amalgam fillings. It's basically a binding agent, so it'll grab on to any mercury that's released um, that happens to make its way into the stomach um, and it'll enable the person to you know, poop it out rather than have it lie in their stomach. You know, it's a really helpful safety mechanism. Um, now let's talk about our basic setup so we can protect ourselves and the patient. I just want to show you we've got a full, um, all this stuff is thrown away when we're done with the procedure. So we have a full um, barrier for the patient. Uh, they wear glasses um, to protect their eyes. And then we have an oxygen source here. Um, this goes over top of the patient's nose and there's gonna be fresh, pure oxygen coming out of the system. We also have nitrous oxide in here. Um, it's very helpful to keep the patients very comfortable while you're taking the amalgam fillings out because we want them not to be fighting our procedure but to be comfortable so that they're focusing on healing, detoxing, and not fighting our procedure. Um, we also have a dental dam. This is a rubber dam which goes around the tooth. I'm going to show you a little bit more about this once it's in place. Um, but this enables us to be able to work inside the patient's mouth without having all the filling fragments flying around their mouth and down their throat. This is a high-speed suction. This will be placed in the patient's mouth by, uh, right behind where the fillings are being removed. And then we have another um, suction, that's low speed suction is placed behind the dam that might, that should uh, capture any little particles or pieces that happen to get underneath the dam. Also it's helpful to remove the saliva 
because people could start gagging and things during the procedure. Um, we protect ourselves, uh, the doctor and the assistant, with these uh, masks. Put these on, and that way we can breathe and decreases the potential we might inhale any mercury vapors. And um, we're really concerned about contaminating our office, so we have this vent here. This vent gets placed very close to the, to the work area, and um, it draws air. Kind of like if you were cooking bacon and you don't want to smoke your whole house, you have a vent, you turn it on, and the mercury vapor goes through here, and there's a special filter in here that, that filters out the mercury. We do not want to have our office contaminated with mercury. Um, we also have one other thing that's great for the environment, you know, when we suction the filming particles and everything else out of the patient's mouth, of course goes down the drain and uh, into the public water system. Um, we have what's called an amalgam separator, which captures the particles and we have them in this filter that gets replaced every year and that way we're not dumping a bunch of mercury and other stuff into the city water. Um, so, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and put the dental dam on and uh, we'll show you how that works. Thanks. Okay, we are looking at a few amalgam fillings that we're getting ready to remove. Um, there's two on the lower left and two on the lower right. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of gray haloing around the filling. That's where the fillings have been leaking and there's a little bit of decay. Um, for the most part, it looks like these fillings are pretty well placed. They, uh, they're probably 20 plus years old and they're certainly beginning to fall apart. And um, that's what we're doing. There's one more on the top, but it's kind of tiny. But I just wanted to give everybody a view of what we're doing here. Okay, here we go. We've got our dental dam set up. You can see that it's totally isolating the, um, the two mercury filling, or at least this filling area that we're going to be working on right here. Um, we've got the oxygen source, so the patient's more likely to breathe the air that comes through this nose. Um, and there's some nitrous oxide running through there, which helps the patient relax. Um, yeah, they're going to be breathing oxygen and not any potential mercury vapors. Um, we've got our vent that comes down that gets really close to the work area. We've got uh, mercury filter filtration for the assistants and, then, and the doctor. Um, we've got saliva ejection, which removes anything that might get behind a dam and saliva build up for the patient. And then we got the high speed suction tube that when we start, yeah, just place it in here by behind the tube. As soon as we start removing the mercury fillings, that suction will come on and it pulls all the particles out. Now there is a certain strategy to remove these fillings. We don't want to just take the drill and just obliterate the filling. What we try to do is carefully cut little pieces and have the fillings come out in large chunks as much as possible.
As you can see, we've gotten the mercury fillings out. See her open real big. I don't know if you can closely see in there, you'll see that the mercury will do some staining to the bottom of the tooth. I don't know how well you can really see that, but basically what we're gonna do right now is we're going to put some ozone into the pores of the tooth, because once you've gotten the fillings out, there's always a little bit of decay in there and we've carefully cleaned that out. And the, this is a mixture of oxygen and ozone gas. And what we do is we just place that down into the tooth and it travels into the pores of the teeth, kills any bacteria and the oxygen promotes healing. We are going to use uh, a porcelain filling material. Um, it's a filling material made by the company Voca with a German product. And it's unique within the last couple of years it's come out and basically what it does is it at the microscopic level uses glass particles rather than plastic particles. Um, the filling materials we used to use called composites are made of plastic. It's running now but I can chop it off. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do the second tooth. We're applying the ozone to the second tooth. This dramatically minimizes the chances of uh, someone having pain and sensitivity. It promotes healing in the, in the nerve of the tooth. And uh, I can't begin to tell you how many root canals we have uh, prevented people from having. It's just because you take out mercury fillings and uh, you uh, put fillings in, doesn't mean the teeth are gonna like it and heal properly. What I'm doing right now is I'm putting a cleaning agent into these teeth. It just cleans the, uh, the tooth. Um, next I'll be putting a bonding agent. These are all required materials. There is no such thing as an organic filling material, I hate to tell you. Um, so what we do is we pre-select the safest materials that we can find on the market. They're the least toxic and irritate people's systems the least. And uh, this is a product called Clearfill. This is the bonding agent that I was talking about. This makes the tooth very sticky and gets it ready to 
have the filling materials um, stick and bond properly to the tooth. I always puff a little bit of air on these. Just thins out the bond. Yeah, go ahead. The light we shine on there, it actually uh, causes a bonding agent to set, cure, dry, you know, whatever you want to call it. This right here is a little stain that was left behind from the mercury. We don't always drill out all the stains because the more you drill out, the more likely you are to irritate the pulp of the tooth. We have two basic consistencies of material. This is a flowable, flowable or a more runny. Uh, get ready to cure, please. Mm -hmm. Runny version that kind of fills the nooks and crannies. So I use these on the small little areas because it kind of flows in there real nicely. Gonna, yeah, go ahead, shine the light. Also, the inner part of the tooth, the yellow dentin, is more soft than the white enamel. So, uh, this foldable material has a, it's not quite as dense. So, I also will use that in the very deep portions of any holes. In this last tooth, there was quite a bit of decay underneath of the uh, amalgam filling. So. I'm going to replace the yellow dentin that is missing with that. I find that the more like the natural tooth and consistency these materials are, the better it feels when you chew on them. Because teeth were designed a certain way for a certain reason. And if you've got a hard material that's too hard, it certainly performs a little bit differently. You go ahead and cure that. Next, we have a uh, more dense material. That's gonna be used to replace the white enamel. It's, uh, when it cures, it's quite hard. Performs more like enamel. Is it open real big? Good job. Of course, the patient starts to get tired, which is understandable. This is a couple big holes, so we'll need some more material. And what we do is we pack this down in there and uh, we typically will overfill the tooth a little bit. I find the finger always does a good job too, as long as we're using a clean glove. Okay. So again, we'll overpack these. Is this the one that came with the bone? Yeah, that's the yes. one. Just gonna come back over here and dab these down nice and smooth. Okay, go ahead and cure that. Now we've got our teeth filled with porcelain filling material. And they look really good. And there you have it. That's how we safely remove metal fillings.